Hi everybody, welcome back to the Native Family. If you are new here, welcome. If you're returning, hey family. I know it's been a million years since I've uploaded a video for you guys. We are going to be doing an update video to let you guys know what was going on with us and how we are all doing now. And I just wanna say thank you for all of your love and support. While we were missing, I finally got on here and read some comments and I truly am sorry that I did not get back to everybody in a timely manner, but life happens. I am a full-time student now and I'm just getting around to where I have enough time to do everything again. Um, but I will put the update video in the eye in the sky for you guys if you're interested in going and seeing that. We changed how we grocery shop. We grocery shop about once a week now instead of once a month. I can sometimes go once every two weeks if I pull it off right. What helps us do that is just paying attention to all of the grocery ads, you know, the weekly ads that you find. I would look at the uh, app flip and it shows us everything that's in our area, all the different flyers. So I've been comparing prices and things like that. I still shop at the grocery outlet first and then I go to everywhere else to see what else I have to fill in. And we are all moving over to the vegetarian lifestyle. So you'll see some meat products because some of my younger kids still enjoy meat here and there, but we don't eat it on a regular basis. It's more like once a week now. And that has saved our pocketbook quite a bit of money and it makes us feel better health wise. So with that being said, 180 bucks, I think I had a $10 coupon, made it down to like 170. I will try to tell you the prices and what we were gonna use them for because like I said, bear with me, it's been a while, I am rusty. And I apologize for my voice because I'm always raspy these days. $3.99 for almost three pounds of the Hillshire Farm uh, Polish sausage. My kids like this with potatoes and green beans and onions. Like I said, once a week we'll do that. I'm gonna break it down into individual packs. That This will last us a million years. $3.99 for that. Two of the sorriest bunches of bananas that you probably have ever seen. It came out to like $3.33 for the two bunches, but it's okay because we are going to be making some overnight oats and some oatmeal breakfast cookies, and it's okay if they are a little bit ripe. A big bag of the cinnamon toasters. My kids go on the cereal kick every blue moon. They want cereal, and then they won't eat it. So I just picked up one big bag for $1.98. When it's gone, it's gone, and if they want more, we will pick up more, but I'm not buying multiple boxes of cereal anymore. One of my favorite little snacking cheeses is the Laughing Cow Chickpea and Cheese Spread. This is the herb. Oh, it's so good with crackers. Absolutely love it. Those 99 cents. And then I've been craving goat cheese for our charcuterie boards. This was $3.99 for the garlic and herb. Really good. Um, mozzarella was $3.99. That is for our homemade pizzas because we still do that. I did pick up a pack of string cheese. I think this was $2.99 for 16 which isn't a bad price I've gotten it for better but I'm not going to complain it was pretty good and that will be for one of our pasta salads and for the kids snagging always a repurchase is the Wisconsin premium cheese um, the block cheese and the shredded cheese are the same price right now so I just opted for the shredded cheese and that was $5.99 um, two of our favorite mayonnaises are the mayonnaise with the lime juice so good it is so awesome to have this with some tuna salad it's just very refreshing, and that was $1.99 for that one, and $1.99 for the avocado oil mayo. We use that on all of our sandwiches. The kids really enjoy it. It was $1.99 for that one as well. They were having really good deals on condiments and things. Little Smokies is another one of the meat products I did pick up for the kids. They make um, pigs in a blanket with these, and these were $2.99 for those. A little splurged because the kids were with me they saw these and they were only 99 cents so we picked up one of the heat and eat cinnamon rolls I think you get four in there and you can microwave them so they were having pretty good Pillsbury dough like um, sales right now so that was 99 cents two of the Philadelphia cheesecake crumbles this is the chocolate hazelnut and the girl said it tastes just like Nutella so I did pick up two of those for a dollar I wanted to give this oil of a sensitive uh, SPF 15 Hungarian water essence uh, moisturizer. I try it was $3.99 and then Rihanna needed cover up and this is the Dream Radiant Liquid by Maybelline in vanilla and that was like $2.99. Not bad at all. So I have to see how she likes it. The kids love these juices. It's This one's the mango juice and they got an orange juice as well and this has little uh, pieces of coconut in it and those are always two for a dollar. I always pick them up when I go. Pizza sauce for pizza night. This is just the bubbly pizza sauce. You get three sauce packets for $1.99. I thought that was a pretty decent deal. And then I did get the Nature's Bakery Fig Bars and Blueberry, $5.99. I think that's been that price for a while. They used to be $4.99 a while back. Two of the cherry pies that you see up there, 69 cents each. 
bear with me guys I'm trying not to forget anything okay this was an afterthought I'm gonna be making pasta salad and I thought okay so the meat eaters can take the salami and put it on top of their pasta salad rather than inside of the salad so that everybody else wouldn't eat it and these were $1.99 and it came with the cheese it has provolone so I'm thinking about just chunking up the cheese already and mixing that into the pasta salad and just leaving the salami out it was $1.99 I need a different Parmesan cheese, but this will have to work for the week because I am making homemade Alfredo sauce. I don't prefer this one when I make it, but it'll do. And that was $2.49. The olives were $0.99 cents each. The top one is for pizza night, and the bottom one is for our pasta salad. I know these say holiday crunch on them, but they're good until September. Ooh, I almost dropped it. $2.49 each, and these are pretty big cans. This is a pound five ounces. Everybody in the house uses these kind of like as their snacky energy foods in the mornings or on their breaks at lunch or at school. So for $2.49, I picked up two of those. Oh, and then I got the Casa de Oro Chicharrones. Those are the hot skins. Those were $2.99, those are for the hubby. I thought this was an interesting deal. They were 10 for a dollar, and it's just the extra virgin olive oil. And I thought this was cool just to have these in the pantry for emergencies or nights that we just need, you know, a couple tablespoons for sauteing veg. 10 for a dollar, nice to have. And then this is one of my favorite onion salts. It's the Tones onion salt. And I just like this so much. It makes some of the vegetables just really pop. Um, two cans of the Pillsbury Grands. Like I said, they were having a good deal. These were 50 cents each. And then I also got two of the croissants and that's what the kids are gonna use for pigs in a blanket. And they will use these as donuts. I believe that's what their plan was for. These are the Totis Donitas. These are the little snacking uh kind of like pig skins but they're made out of wheat so these are for our vegetarians and this is the chili in limon really good 50 cents for that bag haven't bought top ramen or any kind of noodles like that in ages and that was a dollar 59 a quick convenience food for when mom is at school this is just the cilantro lime rice if the kids want to make it and do some black bean and corn burritos with it 99 cents this is our new milk of choice in our house we usually do the almond milk but this is the Silk Next Milk Whole Fat. You guys can cook with this. It's awesome. It's just like having regular milk with it being, plant, you know, you're, you're still plant like I can't talk. Tongue twister, plant-based. Whoo, I got it out. Those were $1.99 each, which is a steal because I was in Vons the other day and those were close to $5. So I did pick up two of those. I did get two cans of the coconut milk because one is for our peanut sauce for our spring rolls. And one is to do a curry with. Oh, I'm losing the kids' bologna. Only a small package of ham because my one daughter eats ham and cheese sandwiches. And this was $2.49 for this little box. And then I got, oh, this is one of my favorite. These were $3.99. This is a spinach and ricotta tortellini. I make a pasta salad with this and it is amazing. Bacon dill because my kids still eat bacon. Like I said, they're just not doing big steaks and big things of chicken and hamburger. But they're still doing a lot of the not so healthy meats, I guess that's what you would say. But $9.99 for three 16 ounce packs. That is the cheapest I have seen bacon in probably a year. Then bologna. I crave bologna sandwiches every once in a while. I will fry up a bologna sandwich. And that was 99 cents. There's no shame in my game on that one. I've told you guys before, I enjoy it. Um, the Farmer John's crispy strips, those were $6.99. That's the classic chicken strips. The Gardein um, Mandarin Orange Chicken was $2.50. Big bag of the Gardein Meatless Meatballs were $4.99. And then one of my kids really liked this whole grain, um, what are they, chicken strips, and that was only $2.99. I did get a big bag of the Rotini so we can make the pasta salad, and that was $0.99. Cents. And now the rest of this is all veg, pretty much, and fruit. Portobello mushrooms, these were $2 off. I'm going to be using them today to make um, portobello fita, <laughs> fajitas, portobello fajitas. Anyways, in place of steak, we will be doing the mushrooms and it's so delicious. I cannot wait to have that for dinner. Actually, it's one of my favorite dishes. Big thing of strawberries. Oh, I'm sorry, what did I say these were? $2 off, they were $3.99, that made them two bucks. So dollar each cap. $3.99 for the strawberries, they just looked really yummy. Baby spinach was a dollar off, so this made this dollar uh, forty-nine, and we do a lot of spinach salads. Plus, I need this for my southwestern egg rolls and a couple other dishes. I'm making a quiche that I need that for as well. Everything but the bagel seasoning kit uh, chopped salad, 
$3.99 for that. I just thought that would be a nice lunch for the girls and I. Wolf doesn't like any of the seasoning, so the girls and I will have that. Sweet peppers are always a repurchase. Uh, I think these are $1.99 or $2.99. I'm not sure about the price on those, but like I told you, that's one of our favorite go-to snacks, especially with that laughing cow cheese. Delicious. Two bunches of asparagus. Um, that was two for four on that one. It was a pretty good price. Five pound bag of potatoes for $2.49. These were kind of spinny, but I needed them, and they are so sweet. These are one of the best organic style um, cherry tomatoes that I've had in a long time, and those were $2.49 for those. A big bag of sweet onions. That's We just use sweet onions in everything, and that was $3.99 for three pounds of those. Coleslaw for our vegetarian chow mein. Four cucumbers for snacking and our cucumber and red onion salad. Then I did pick up some dry goods. We are going to be making our own hummus from scratch. So I picked up some dried cabanzo beans and these were $2.29. Two pound bag of pinto beans were $2.29. And I think the rice was $1.99 and the rice will be for horchata. And then I did pick up a bag of jasmine rice for like all of our cilantro lime rice and all of our sticky rices for our stir fries. Thing of whole wheat bread, that was $2.49. We are gonna be using pita breads for the pizza tonight. No, not tonight. When are we gonna do pizza? Tomorrow or the next day? Anyways, our next pizza night, we are gonna be using these and they were $1.99 and you get six of them in here, so I thought that was a steal. Most expensive tortillas I've ever bought. I make my own tortillas now from scratch. I'm back to doing that again. But I can't seem to, I don't have a pan big enough to make them this size and we need burrito size ones for what we are having this week and those were $4.99 and you only get 16 so that kind of hurt my feelings and then I picked up these for the kids to have for a breakfast this week as a treat and these are the chocolate croissants and they were $3.99 so that is my grocery haul like I said I apologize if I sound winded and I sound like I'm out of practice because this has just been forever since I filmed so hopefully things start smoothing out. I hope you guys are all doing well. Like I said, I miss you so much. I will leave the update video for you guys in the eye in the sky. If you like these sort of videos, don't forget to stick around. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you can be notified of when we upload new videos. And yes, we do have new videos coming. I think I'm back, guys. So don't forget to inspire, be inspired. And I will see you, family, in another video. Bye, guys.